Speaking of sex offenders, you ever heard of Dan Schneider? Guy who made iCarly and Drake and Josh and whatever. All these like classic Nickelodeon shows. Was he like Freddy or Spencer? I, do what? Was no, he wasn't an actor. He he was he directed the shows. He was like the producer, or director, or whatever. Okay. It's like just like look up. Sometimes just like look up his name in Google and look at the pictures. How much damage did that do? And like look at the pictures he has with like Miranda Cosgrove when she's like 14 and like the other girls in his shows. <laughs> You're like, oh. Uh, he's busted open. <laughs> like. Oh my god, he kicked that and I bloodied him. <laughs> I bloodied him. I'm going to the top row drop kick. <laughs> He's down, he should be out. One, two. Oh my goodness, he kicked out again. Oh shit, he cracked me in the jaw for real. <laughs> you fail. I, I'm being honest with you, getting kicked by someone who is known for having real, real hard kicks, like actually lean in with his kicks, you take one to the chest and it feels like something happened to you, like... What about taking one to the chest? Like getting kicked in the chest is like, it's probably gonna stop your heart or something. Oh. Because one person took like a plate of chops with that, and there's and he stated that all of them had like what what is known as journal, journalism strength, but yet yeah, all of them chops yeah. actually hurt, and him felt like his chest was about to cave in. <laughs> and a chop is like really him just somebody just slapping you across the chest as hard as they can. Wow. Some of them, some, there are some wrestlers out there like getting chopped real freaking hard. Mm. That one chop, your chest is bloodshot red. Ow. Oh shit, I ran into it. And I, he made me tap. <laughs> but yeah, um. So there's a wrestling anime airing this season. Are you watching it? Is it? Does it feature a guy in a tiger mask? Tiger mask W, yeah. Yeah, I, I saw. haven't seen it yet, so I don't know if it's good or not. I have not seen it either. I know it got cool, the animated version of Kazuchika Okada and Hiroshi Tanahashi. Oh. <laughs> Actually, yeah, and I, actually I did watch like part of the first episode, I didn't watch all of it, but yeah, I watched part of the first episode, and it was like, seemed kind of brutal to be honest, like, it's like the guy, like, his dad was a wrestler, but he like, got freaking beat to death in the ring by this other guy, and so he like, swore vengeance on the guy that killed his dad or whatever, it was like, Typical shonen stuff, I guess. But there was a uh, uh, was. there was a manga and anime series called Ultimate Muscle or Kiniku Man. It was kind of like that, <laughs> but the but the one Kiniku Man Ness, like it takes up after the manga that takes up after the original one. Yeah, it was more Hi. dark than the original. Every bit of victory here tonight. Man, this guy.
Like where Kid Muscle was just shit in Hollywood Bowl's bowl and his head was inside the bowl. God. But they didn't show it in like the uh, anime. And it was airing on Fox Kids, Fox Box, I believe. Hell no. Oh, I pretty much have to go to bed at one. Chris Danger versus Jason Sabin. Wait, what about one? I have to go be a, uh, in the bed at one. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I got to get up early so I can do my transaction. Hmm. I'm kind of getting tired of my phone vibrating every... For every... I was talking to the crap to my zero to the uh -huh. zero people watching yeah hi viewers how many people do you have watching right now huh I said how many people do you have watching right now there's only two but now there's no one uh I was, I was gonna say there's another one when I was watching earlier but didn't know if they were still there. There are only a few other channels streaming WWE, so shouldn't be too much competition on there, but Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. So much thought goes into a superstar's entrance as we're witnessing here tonight. Okay, I think there's news out saying that Miley Cyrus allows fans to touch her vagina and butthole during performance. Yeah. You know wow. Miley you know Miley Cyrus was restrained. <laughs> when no. she was working for Disney, you know she didn't like she was Oh yeah. She worked for Disney. <laughs> yeah. And once she left, she turned. <laughs> oh, oh god, oh god, I, 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 I just lost count of what I was doing. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Mike Nicole, alongside Jerry the King Lawler here at Ringside and King. Tonight should be extremely. Yeah, Chris Danger and Jason Saber. Chris Danger's the only one who got billed to him. Jason Safe is relatively <laughs> skinny, like like the person I actually got inspiration from is Zack Sabre Jr. He is relatively small, he's skinny. Great one -on -one action here tonight. It hmm. get much better but yeah, he faced wrestlers like Chris Heroes who's now pushing two fifty. Jeez. And he's like and Wow. And I think Zack Sabre Jr. is kinda smaller is Smaller than me, and I'm 185. Oh wow! But then again, he's like six foot, six foot one or six foot. Someone really should check out. I mean, a maneuver like that. Just hit Chris Danger with the cr the cravat net breaker or well, suplex. If you don't know what a cravat suplex is, it's where you got somebody by the neck and you just suplex them front by the neck. You're using both hands and like... Wow. Yeah, re re wrestling is very innovative. You so basically you... Basically you fuck them up. <laughs> like, yeah, you soften up their head for whatever submission you're going for. Yeah. So tell me, what, what is your review on Ruby? How far are you? I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Uh, just finished season two tonight. 
kind of worth it. I mean, finale wasn't that impressive. I thought the episode before it was even better. And then finale. The finale was just like, oh no, we're in the city and there's monsters everywhere. And oh yay, all our friends are here and they're all fighting monsters. And the day is saved. But... Um, I mean, yeah, the season as a whole was pretty good, though. Like, there were some moments, like, where the animation, like, picked up and whatever, and I was like, oh, wait, this is actually okay. <laughs> like, now, watch um, volume, now you gotta watch volume three on uh, YouTube. Yeah, I, mean, I noticed today that the subset that I've been watching anyway on it is called Kiss the Anime was down for maintenance or whatever. And so I was looking for some, somewhere else to watch it and I realized it was on YouTube. <laughs> so, just watched the last two episodes on there. Ah, oh, shit, he had with Eric and Ron. But yeah, I forgot which episode it was. I think it was like four or five, but like that first fight scene they had with a mech, I thought was pretty, pretty impressive. I think it was their, uh, like pretty, where it's like they were, it was like running down the highway, like tossing cars off the bridge and whatever, like I thought that was kind of impressive, compared to what I'd seen before at least, like, but, but then of course this season to had the notorious uh, rooftop running scene <laughs> where I didn't see that on the internet. Um, I forgot even who it was running on the roof. Cinder. It was yeah. It was Ruby. It was Ruby. She was coming out of the dance, and she looked and she saw, she saw her running on the roof. Yeah. Uh huh. And it was like so. <laughs> It was like, I don't know, just the way it was animated, the here. way she like, jumped over the side of the roof, I was just like, oh, <laughs> like, like, hey, they ain't claiming yeah. to be per. they ain't claiming to be perfect, have you seen, man. Yeah. Have you seen the promos for season four, though? Season four? You mean volume four for Ruby? Volume, volume four, yeah. Yeah. So you saw the animation things so far? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's like it's looking better. He gets better. He's even better than. Like. Because I heard people saying that. It's like, hey, it's, the animation's actually going to be good in season four, believe it or not. <laughs> like. And I was like, what? No way. And then I saw, like. That, like, Ruby fight scene. It's where, you, where Ruby is much older. Where she like impales a bird and like rides in into a burning village on it. Yeah, that was kind of weird. <laughs> so, I have yeah. a question for you. Uh, does Yang, does Yang, get any less at fighting? After, after she loses her arm. Huh? No, she's more. At some point, she loses, she loses her arm. But, like, yeah, right probably. now, or at least, like, seems like I just noticed, like, multiple times this season that she just gets tossed around and beat the fuck up a lot. <laughs> well, it's kind of like due to her drawback, due to one of the many flaws in her personality. It's like... I guess, her, yeah. Her personality is... She gets fun, but the moment you fuck with her hair, she gets real pissed off, or you make her mad. And yeah, she's easily she, provoked. Yeah. Yeah. She gets severe tunnel vision, and that would lead to her losing an arm. Yeah. Because, I mean, that second to last episode on this season...